Laura, Laura, Laura. I'll get you to talk yet. Tell me everything you know about this king. He's the king of flute noses. He's going to save us all and hunt you down. But let me be clear. I'm not going to give him up. You're only wasting my time. But then again, that means I'm also wasting your time. So actually, it doesn't bother me. Ask me anything. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. I'm patient. I can wait for you to talk. I hate when they think they're being clever. I think there are one or two things that you don't know about Conroy. I know everything there is to know about Conroy. Oh yeah? When was he born? In the year of the Gorf. What was his favorite color? Pink. When did he order the building of the Basilians? In the year of the, uh... Uh, nice try, little lady. Now listen to me. What is it now? Conroy gave his life for our world and our safety. And I won't just let you trample all over his reputation. Conroy was the esposion equivalent to that yellow, sandy stuff that you find in the corner of your eyes when you wake up in the morning. Like the feeling you get when you stub your little toe on the edge of a door frame. How dare you! Like that annoying type of headache you get when you're starting to feel dehydrated. He is a saint! Conroy is, without a doubt, the most worthless person I've ever had the misfortune to meet. He owes a handwritten apology to every single Esposian whom he ever inadvertently stole a breath from by inhaling in front of them. I believe with all my heart that the only good thing that could come from you bringing him back is that I'll be able to kill him again. He is an absolute monster, and I spit on him and everything that he ever cared about. Why do you hate the flute noses so much? Why would you want to harm so many people? They were the ones who harmed Esposia. We lived in peace before they murdered Conroy in such a cowardly fashion. They are evil by nature, every last one of them. Believe me, Missy, I know! You're wrong! You're wrong! You despicable murderer. I wonder what went so terribly wrong in your childhood. Did the other children not want to play with you? Did you have fits? Do you feel better now that you get to be the bully? I'm warning you, girl. Don't make things worse for yourself. Oh yeah. What are you going to do? Throw me in jail? You are nothing but a pathetic loser who has no friends and manipulates people's fears to inflame hatred. Another thing I wanted to tell you about the Basilians. Uh-huh. Go on. They are not real! Why can't you get that for your big stupid head? Don't you speak to me that way! So we've got a talking Conroy doll and a maniac in one room. This could get interesting. What? I said that's it. I'm not saying another word to you. Believe me, my dear, I've cancelled all my appointments this week just so that I can concentrate on our little talk. You're not getting out of here so easily. Am I a good leader? Sometimes at night. I wonder if I'm going down the wrong path. Let's see what Conroy has to say about that. A true leader must often make unpopular decisions. The more people that hate you, the more likely it is that you're a good ruler. Yes, exactly. I need to pull myself together and swallow all my doubts. never be as attractive as him. The gods don't care for mortal beauty. They will turn the beautiful to stone as quick as the ugly. That's right. 
My physical appearance doesn't matter to the gods. All that matters is the, the purity of my soul. Don't worry. No matter how long it takes, I will bring you back. You know that I am your most humble servant. True devotion shows itself when following through with morally conflicting decisions. Only when you follow in my footsteps can you say that you truly love Conroy. I swear, I will prove my worthiness! Hey, guard! Hail, Emil. Black? He says you should let me go. Okay. Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. He didn't say that. <laughs> I won't fall for that a sixth time. I'll remember this. You're all on my list. Conroy, Emil, guard number 1544, guard number 1543, guard number 5893, my kindergarten teacher, Mr. Flower. Hello? Oh, hi. Are you my new cellmate? I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. So here's everything you need to know. The bottom bunk is mine, and we're out of toilet paper. Welcome to jail. Um, thanks. What are you in for? I help to kill Conroy. You're welcome. And I take it you're part of the family? Yeah. My little sister must be around here somewhere, too. Where did they capture you? In Wollington. I helped Ocarino Bo the Third. Ocarino? Oh my god, Robert! You found Robert! Where is he? Is he okay? Well, he's alive. We actually wanted to escape with a cable car to the other side of Esposia. But then they found me. Thank goodness he's alive. I could cry from happiness. <laughs> Funny you should say that. I could cry from fear. <laughs> so you know Ocarino? Yeah, we worked together to defeat Conroy and found you all at the Dynasty's palace. What an honor to meet you. The honor is all mine. You are bafflingly beautiful. I mean, <clears throat> I have to find him. Okay, good luck. But I think that's going to be rather difficult. Ha, no worries. Rather difficult is my middle name. Complex and beautiful. Oh, wow. can't open it. You're welcome to borrow it. Just put it back when you're done. Gotta do everything myself. My neck roll pillow. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. The toilet bowl is filled to the rim. I'd rather not flood my own cell. What's going on out there? The pipe is busted. Great. Thanks. Hey! You there! Guard 1833 reporting for duty. What is it? I'm hungry. What's on the menu today? Ah, the usual. Frozen peas, mystery meat stew with blue gelatin, something slimy with tomatoes. And for dessert, 
pudding. What kind of food? The tapioca. How's the tomato dish today? As bad as it was yesterday. But enough curry powder makes it edible. Okay, I'll take that. One order of slimy tomato stuff. Curry powder won't save everything. How are the peas? Frozen. I'll have. Excellent choice. One order of char. One order of mystery meat. One order of. Obo, how are you doing over there? Laura! Oh, I thought they'd taken you away. I didn't hear any snoring the past six nights. Yeah, I sleep standing on my head now, but only for the past five nights. Do my ears deceive me? Is there someone else with you? There are three of you in there now. Two. This is Labretta. Hello, Uncle Obo. Oh, my precious niece. I'm so relieved to hear you're doing well. Mmm, I wouldn't exactly say well. My poor child! Don't worry. Things will get better again. This insanity can't last forever. Oh, and do you all have bathrobes? They've never given me one. I'm definitely going to mention it in my review. In any case, it's nice to have three charming young people to keep me company now. The lack of entertainment here can drive one crazy. That could be useful. Now I just have to find a way to get my hands on that key. Listening. I'd like to place an order. I'll take the mystery meat stew with the blue gelatin. Uh, we're out of the blue stuff, but uh, we have the stew. No dessert for me then, thanks. It all tastes like cotton anyway. One order of mystery meat stew. <laughs> Hey, the key can unlock your hand shackles. But unfortunately not the other chain. Well, at least I can paint again. So, yeah. Can you also paint? You mean? Okay, oh, I'd be happy. I'll need if you could you write. Sure. Can you? I, I, I need some. I'm. It's going to be. I need a bit of blue. Otherwise. Uncle O. I'm all. Do you happen to have any paper or pencil or paints with you? I have toilet paper. Well, I guess that will have to do. Toilet paper is like currency in here. And as you know. You have to play to win it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't make the rules. So, today we'll be playing Knock Knock. What is that? An ancient dynasty game. 
One person knocks, and the other has to guess how many times. That sounds, uh... Totally stupid. Yeah. I always lose. The starting bet is four squares of toilet paper. Damn, but we don't have any more. What could I use instead of toilet paper? Thank you for your- oh. Can I bet with this? Yes, that should work. All right, get ready. So, how many times did I knock? Four times. Unfortunately not, my dear. Now, hand over that paper. Damn it. Here's some pages from the Conroy Bible. Yippee! Let's play another round. Listen closely now. Ready? And? Did you get it? Six times. Correct! But you have to get it right three times in a row. If I have to. Ready? And? Did you get it? Six times. You won! Here's your toilet paper. But I only got it right twice. Yes! You've gotten it correct three times in a row. Uh, yeah. How about a rematch? You know what? How about I just give you the Conroy Bible? Oh, thank you. I used mine up a long time ago. Take care, Uncle Obo. Thanks. I think I can paint on this paper. I'm still missing some... I can't paint the picture for you just yet. I think I can paint with that. I'm still missing something for the cactus painting. I can't paint the picture for you just yet. I think I can paint... I'm still... I can I think... I I could use... Thanks. Now, I have everything that I need in order to paint. What is the cactus supposed to look like? Well, its spines are... straight. And it has exactly... four flowers. And how does the body look? The body is kind of... Y shaped. Okay, almost done. How many spines does the cactus have? The cactus has. Six spines. And what's its name? Maurice. All right, here's your cactus. Blue Maurice. Finally, I'm going to hang it up immediately. Ha! I did it! Okay, I think I'll take the cable car to Esposia Central first. If I don't find him there, I'll look for him in Old Aspia. That must have been what he meant by the other side of Esposia. Fantastic! Now go, get out of here. Thank you so much for your help. I'll get you out of here, I promise. Good luck, Laura. Thanks, Labretta. See you soon. Promise. Now, my dear, are you going to tell me where she's headed off to? Yes. Where is my sister? First, the information. 
Laura and the King are on their way to Old Aspia. Ha! The coward is hiding then! What a great king! Conroy would never run and hide! Where is my sister? She's just fine. I'll have you brought to her. You've done Asposia a great service, sweetheart. <laughs>